Welcome to The Cocoon in the Open Door podcast series. Well, I'm currently executive director uh, for a small nonprofit organization. Uh, We uh, are a uh, donation-based, volunteer-driven, holistic survivorship program for cancer survivors. Okay, what does that mean? I, uh, you know, so well, we what we, what our organization does is we we stage events, uh, and we escort cancer vi- survivors and their family members, and I think that's kind of a key point is because cancer spreads beyond the person who's been diagnosed, and affects family members, friends, and especially children, uh, and so that needs to be taken into consideration, and it currently isn't, so. We escort cancer survivors and their family members through guided meditation, energy work, uh, acupuncture and massage therapy during live sound therapy. Uh, And then we host guest experts to discuss aspects of survivorship and then sit down to a community meal uh, where we have a small presentation on why we're eating what we're eating and how to integrate that nutritional uh, protocol into their everyday lives. When you hear the word consciousness, what does consciousness mean to you? Whew, that's a heavy one. You know, uh, can you do a brief one? <laughs> what yeah, do you- <laughs> yeah, well, mindfulness, really, uh, because we have an energetic body that is tied to our subconscious and our subconscious, all, all kinds of demons and traumas buried deep that have come, you know, trauma, generational traumas. And so I think consciousness is a place and it it doesn't happen overnight but it's 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 a process uh it's a process to integrate your subconscious with your conscious mind so that you can be mindful and and be in the moment beautiful health healing uh health you know there you cannot divorce uh the mind from the body uh And it's tricky because you have to start with the body. You know, you our our brains are something like seventy percent fat. If you eat fast food all the time, uh, poor fats, that's going to affect the way you think, the way you feel about yourself. So you have to start with a healthy body, eating correctly and exercising, and then once that's been attained, uh, you can work on your mind. New economy. The new economy, that's fantastic. I just saw a play last night called Cuba Libre. Uh, and this, this, the, the main character, uh, the protagonist, uh, needed to get a trumpet because his, trumpet, uh, his trumpeteer in the band just had his stolen. So he went to the widow of a famous trumpeteer and said, I need that trumpet. And she said, $80. And he didn't have $80. So he said, what do you, what do you need? She needed dentures. So he went to a dentist, and the dentist said, you know, I need powdered milk. So he went to the milk person. She's like, you know, I need a carburetor. And so he went to the uh, mechanic, and the mechanic said, I need a jacket. So he took the jacket off his back, gave it to him, captured the carburetor, and then walked it right back up the line, and then walked away with the trumpet. That's the new economy. You've been listening to the Open Door podcast series. The Open Door is part of the cocoon the creative action centers of online open source networks. Tune in weekly, where we share ideas on consciousness, health, and creativity. Together, we are taking action where the 99% transform into the 100%.